ladies and gentlemen, introducing Roy Jones Jr. Famous, finest boxing journalist and a real expert in the game, Mr. Paul Upton. Give him a big round of applause, please, now. Thank you. Wow. Wow, boy, what an entry. What a fan. Look at these fans here. They love Roy Jones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Roy, welcome to Newcastle. It's such a pleasure and honor to have you here. You came in uh, on Tuesday and you've been spending some time out here in the community. And it's because of the One World Boxing Team. Uh, Rob Fogarty and Richard Clown, thank you guys for bringing Roy out here. Put your hands together. Okay. Those two gentlemen are supporting Australian boxing and we really need them. And why all of you are here tonight, you are supporting Australian boxing just by being here and looking after the One World Boxing Team. And Roy Jones, I can tell you, now has an association with One World Boxing. And the team here on Newcastle and Roy it is a pleasure to have you out here supporting Australian boxing. Thank you. Thank you for so coming. Now, you've been down at the One More Boxing Gym. If you haven't been there in Newcastle, you've got to get out there and check it out. You were there yesterday filming a TV commercial. We're going to see it on Newcastle Television. And you've been in gyms all over the world. What did you think about the setup? One World Boxing Academy has one of the best setups on the planet. I've been all around the world seeing boxing gyms everywhere. There's not another gym anywhere that's going to supersede what they have done at a one world box. And you did some work out there too, Roy. You got a few rounds in, a bit of on the pants? I got a couple rounds in. Yeah. Now, you've got a number of titles you're working on at the moment. You're a promoter now. You're a television commentator. You're going to get fly over on Sunday. You're going to fly to Macau. He's going to call the Manny Pacquiao fight on Macau on HBO. But you haven't retired, Roy. You've had five straight wins. You fought in September in Russia. First round knockout win to Roy Jones Jr. So, the question we want to know is, Roy, what's the plan? Are we going to see you in the ring again next year in a big fight? Um, yeah, the plan, is, the plan is to capture the WBO Cruiserweight Championship of the world. Marco Huck? Marco Huck. Is it going to happen? It's gonna happen. One way or the other, I gotta go to Germany and yeah. have another mother's yeah. house. It's gonna happen. Uh, yeah. But Roy, you're telling me you like to set the bar a little bit high. I remember when you were the super middleweight champion of the world against Eric Lucas. You played a game of basketball, semi-pro game, the afternoon of the fight. Then you went out there and defended the world title. You told me that you want to be a commentator, you want to be a trainer and you want to be a fighter all on the one night. How can you do that? Well, they call me Superman. Yeah! And like they said, to those that were given much, much is expected. So if you aim for the sky, you can reach the sky. If you aim for the ceiling, you're not going to go very high. I aim for the moon. And I've got to cut a little bit in between. Yeah. And by winning the Cruiserweight World Title, we're giving the perfect set. Middleweight World Champion, Super Middleweight World Champion, Light Heavyweight World Champion, and remember, this man was the Heavyweight Champion of the World. Now, as I said, you're also wearing many hats. You're a promoter, you've got Roy Jones Jr. promotion set up in America, you've got a new gymnasium set up there, you're signing fighters, you're training some fighters as well now. Jesse Vargas, you're going to have on the undercard of Andrew now. Now, as a promoter, Roy's got his eye out. He's been looking at talent here in Australia. What do you look for when you're looking for a fight? The main thing is for the real to get better. You want a guy who's determined, who uh, is dedicated to his sport, who wants to, who has the want that nothing can stop. When you find that other guy, the hard part is over. So Roy's giving his eye out, and Roy, this won't be your last visit. You're going to have a continued association, and for what it is also, it's like one more boxing is organised. Some of the young fighters from here in Newcastle are going to go over and experience some training. What will they get to see you doing? What? So a lot of people uh, just trying to get that experience. And I do want to tell you all that uh, Australia's own Sharon Angels has been, been uh, a lot of people training at the gym now. Uh, she's a very dedicated woman. 44 years old, making a comeback, and I guarantee you that she gives me more effort in the gym than any of the guys that I train. So, that's more to share. Yeah, everywhere I go around the world, Roy, people love Roy 
Boy Jones Jr. You universally loved in all countries for a number of reasons. One, you had superb talent. Two, you always went out and fought the best challenges, no matter what weight that's. You won a heavyweight, but you still went up the heavyweight. You gave 30 pounds to John Ruiz and kicked his ass while he was there. But the most important thing that you did, you always put on a show. In every Roy Jones Jr. fight, no matter how long it lasts, it was always memorable. And that's what you want from your boxers, right? That's exactly right. If my boxers don't care to come out and entertain you guys who are the big public, then I don't want to ring in front of me. Now, Roy, your fans here tonight, Laura, what have they meant to your career throughout the whole world? What have they meant to you, these fans? You guys have been everything to all of us who come out and put our lives on the line. Our goal is to come out and give you guys what you've been wanting to come see. Without you guys, we would have no box. I appreciate you guys coming out supporting all these guys tonight in Newcastle. And if I do make my way back over here, I'll be glad to see you guys come back and support me as well. Thank you guys for coming out. In boxing history, there's always one special fighter of a generation, a once in a generation fighter for their talent, the way they fight and they win, but also the performances that they deliver. And this man, 10 years, was pound for pound number one. I don't care about that disqualification, Oscar Monta Ribbon. In his prime, 22 to 34 years of age, he never lost and he fought the best. Roy Jones, from your fans, one of the all time greats. Thank you.